KSIH's recent Raven Industries acquisition has taken another huge step forward with this month's AFS Connect updates. KSIH are readying the market as they prepare to release the next generation 50 series Patriot Sprayer, which sees an all new level of Raven integration, both hardware and software a sure sign of what's to come from Case H and the Raven integration. Let's jump into the latest AFS Connect improvements. Raven Cloud to Cloud, as well as manual upload support, and now shapefile prescription support. <laughs> Welcome to Nerdcam everyone, I'm going to use this screen share here, I'll move my face to the side in a bit, but I'll use this to share the AFS Connect updates and walk you through them. Apparently I look like a helicopter pilot with this headset on. Further cementing their open architecture approach and also with the recent Raven acquisition, AFS Connect now supports cloud to cloud data sharing of agronomic data with Raven's Slingshot portal. It kind of makes sense as we see dual connectivity through AFS Connect and Raven Slingshot introduced on the new Patriot 50 series through the Pro 1200 and the Viper 4 display. The benefits are clear. You guys get to choose what to do with your data and where, simplifying its management and improving its flexibility to what best suits you. That's the Case H vision. So let's jump into going through the demonstration of how you set up your Raven Slingshot with AFS Connect Cloud to Cloud integration. So first things first, you obviously require a Raven Slingshot portal to be set up beforehand. There's no direct integration from Raven devices, say the CR12, CR7 or Viper 4 Plus directly to AFS Connect. It's cloud to cloud, so it has to go through Raven Slingshot and into AFS Connect. So before doing any of this, make sure you have an operational Raven Slingshot portal. I'm going to move my meat head down here and make it smaller. So we're in AFS Connect Farm now. We're going to navigate to our setup data. So clicking on setup here and then under enterprise and partnerships, as we can see in this table here, we're going to click this plus in the bottom right hand corner. Now when we click plus, it shows us our Raven integration. Now side note, there are other integrations still located in the AFS Connect fleet section or AFS Connect data section. Those are still there at the moment. I've got a feeling they're going to be migrated over into this area once everything sort of comes together and we have one portal. Without further ado, we're going to click on Raven. And then we see this message come up here, which is basically telling you to go to your Raven Slingshot portal navigate to share API and data access control area and basically click that copy button where it says generate API access key. Once you have that access key, you can then paste it in here and click on connect. And that's it guys. That is pretty much the cloud to cloud between Raven Slingshot and AFS Connect set up you're all good to go. Important to note that this cloud to cloud integration is currently supported for the Viper 4, Viper 4 Plus, the Invisio Pro, the CR7 and the CR12 Raven displays. Now that everything's set up, your Raven device is connected to the Slingshot portal will send data within 15 minutes of closing a job. In addition to the cloud to cloud support with Raven Slingshot portal, we now have a manual upload support of Raven data. This is where you would have a USB or you're using a USB if you don't have any connectivity and you just simply want to load Raven data into AFS Connect portal through USB. So to do this is quite simple. We're going to make my head smaller again, move me over there. Under the plus button in the farm portal here, we're going to click add and then under upload data section, we now have this Raven job data support. So .jdp or .zip formats. File type is automatically Raven job data. You can't change that. Equipment is where you can assign the vehicle that this data came from. So if you know the vehicle, assign it or you can leave it blank. Then it's just a case of finding the file and uploading it and AFS Connect will process that. I don't have a file to show here, but it's pretty straightforward if you're familiar with AFS Connect Farm anyways. Be aware that support for this Raven manual data upload is limited to the Viper, Viper 4 Plus and Invisio Pro displays only, allowing support for application, for seeding and for yield data.
So we now have shapefile prescription support. Yes, about time. Prior to this March update, it was possible to import a shapefile prescription and send it to a machine, but you couldn't actually visualize them. This update cures that and allows you to visualize, to edit, and to send your prescriptions, the same as any other. So let's go through a quick run through of how to import your shapefile prescription. I'm going to move my head over here. We're going to navigate again in the AFS Connect farm area, clicking on the plus button, the add button, and we now have this UI down here, RX prescription shapefile. And to be honest, it's exactly the same as the previous one, RX prescription, but I guess they're highlighting the new support for shape. We can now see that we've got this tab here for import shapefile. This use existing zones is something that was there previously if you have any existing management zones that you want to create a prescription for yourself. But if we're importing a shapefile, we're going to keep with this section. Then select a group you want to import your prescription shapefile into. So in this case, I'm just going to choose here, one I've already done, so corn pre-emergence. Select the season, we're currently on 2022, so we'll keep that. And the type, fertilizing, planting, spraying, or tillage. So for me, I'm just gonna call it spraying. So now you're prompted to select your prescription shapefile. So we click on select file, then navigate to your zip file and click open. You're then prompted to choose the files you wish to import. In this particular uh, zip file, I only have one shapefile to import, so H1 pivots, click next. You then need to assign an attribute to that prescription. So you can either choose to create a new one or select one from your list. So I've already got nitrogen or let's just go for basis gold in this case. Choose your units, so liters per hectare. You then need to select the rate attribute. Now the rate attribute assigns the rate of application for your prescription. So for example, when I was setting up this prescription or perhaps when my agronomist was setting up this prescription, I noted that the field that holds that rate attribute is located in base. So I'm going to select base as the field to assign my rate to that layer. As you can see here, the attribute name must be the same on all selected shapefiles if you have more than one and must have a valid numeric value, of course. Once that's selected, click finish. And as you can see here, it will start to process that shapefile prescription import. So we can see now that that shape RX import has completed along the top here. So if I go to the field I know it's in, we got here the test 68 field go to my field view and I can see now my prescription has come in as basis gold. And that's it, but a huge word of warning. Remember before importing any shapefile prescriptions that you have a boundary around that shapefile prescription data. If you try and import a shapefile without a boundary around it already in AFS Connect, it simply won't work and you won't see anything. And that's a wrap for the latest AFS Connect updates. Raven Cloud to Cloud as well as manual support and the long awaited shapefile prescription import support, import support, import support. Here at Farmhow, we'll be tracking the latest AFS Connect updates as they're released and there are some massive ones inbound. Mm -hmm.